Yeah, this is a data explorer, and what it lets, what it makes it possible to do is like you can go and see miners, and and that are present in the market actor. Uh, it like shows you which ones it can connect to, and shows you which ones it cannot connect to. Yeah, when you when you click on a miner, it shows you the list of deals in in a not so pretty way for now. Uh, but uh, you know, it can it can look at deals. Um, you can click on a deal, and it makes a retrieval, and that's quick. Uh, and it shows some summary. So, like, this is a directory. Let's go to this deal. Yeah, like if you if you have a directory, you can like look what's in it. And it's it's a you know one one you know subdirectory. So like let's let's go see what is stored on Falcon. So it's an image of some some error photo, like a different image. And it's like every single you know click is a retrieval that that works. Um, also, those images are loaded just like they're streaming straight from GraphSync. Uh, so I guess on some in images you may be able to see uh, that they load from like top to bottom. Uh, that is streaming from GraphSync straight into the browser. Um, I'm not sure if that comes through on Zoom. It has fairly low latency, um, but yeah, okay. So other things uh, this can do, you can like you, this is this is just a Unix FS directory, uh, but you might sometimes want to see the like IPLD view of it. So this is just dumping the internal Go IPLD prime uh, node representation, and yeah, it's just this a tag PB node. Uh, and yeah, I guess we we have more interesting duck PB nodes. So like this example, it's like some duck seaboard thing in a directory. So let's see, this is some seaboard NFT horse, um, apparently. Um, so yeah, like it has some image, some metadata, and and yeah, we can we can look at an NFT horse. It, it's a horse. Um, <laughs> So yeah, uh, some IPLD data, uh, other things it can do, it can like, oh yeah, so so the thing with uh, streaming data is when you have a larger file, so like this 256 meg thing, uh, when you start downloading it, uh, it's maybe very small, uh, but you can like see that as it's getting blocks from GraphSync, uh, they go straight into whatever. And it's actually like decently fast, especially given what inter internet I'm on right now. That works. Other, other cool things. So if you, you know, sometimes when IPOD data, especially Seabor is stored on Filecoin, uh, it's stored as raw blocks. So, they would appear as just a file because uh, it's in raw block and and just some random hex. So when you when you open that in the IPLD view, it it's just some random hex which doesn't make sense. But uh, when the explorer picks it up as Cbor, uh, you can view it as Cbor. Um, and as it turns out, in this case, it is uh, the AMT of sectors uh, in, in minor state on Falcon. So uh, someone start Falcon state on Falcon, which is neat. Uh, and you can go through it. And like when you see a CAD, uh, if if that block store was stored as a raw block uh, in some Falcon deal, uh, it, it's not necessarily the, the links in that block uh, will not necessarily be in the same deal. So if I try to open a link in, in the deal that was in a row block, uh, that will not work. But we now have you know, global network indexers, and those are nice. So I can click on find, and I can find that CAD in a different deal. 
and I can go there and continue my adventure exploring, you know, the, the APLD data that I was looking at. Um, so, so yeah, that that's basically all this can do. Uh, oh, it can also, you can also look at the same data on IPFS. So it doesn't need to be uh, on Falcoin. And from this bind page, uh, the top links go to IPFS. Uh, they just have a tendency to not work uh, because right now, for whatever reason, the uh, web free storage uh, references from indexers are not able to connect to them as maybe some updated provider entry. Uh, not, not sure yet exactly what's going on there. Well, Falcon miners are not providing bits of retrieval, so IPFS cannot fetch from them. Uh, but some of the time it works. Um, and yeah, this, this data explorer is very work in progress, uh, just a branch in Lotus. Uh, there's the PR9382, and it does have some instructions on how to run it. Uh, you just need a Lotus or Lotus Light node, uh, which is very easy to set up and very, you know, light. Uh, and you just like run those steps and you can, you can also explore the network. That's it. And wow, that worked.